Hello, it's Fury. Today I'm going to cover a few interesting features that could be abused to help with your runs, starting with this exploit right here. In any run, you can actually levitate as high as you want with enough patience. Obviously, strong and fast levitate perks as well as teleport bolt spells are a better way of reaching high places, but if you really want to access certain areas from the beginning of a run, any run, you can. What I'm doing here is levitating until my energy bar is almost empty and then accessing the mods section of the menu and selecting restart with enabled mods active. You do not have to enable any mods, you can be doing a completely vanilla run and still take advantage of this. Since when the game restarts, it completely refills your levitation energy bar. You can also choose save and quit from the main menu for the same result, but that will completely shut down the game, of course. This method I'm showing you is simply a faster way, since it restarts without shutting the whole program down. This next bug will allow you to carry around a lot more spells if you need to. In the options, you have to make sure you're in windowed mode and in the input section that pause the game when unfocused is on. Then just pick up and drag a spell out of your game window or onto another monitor and click to pause the game. Then click back into the game window and you'll be able to actually stack these spells into temporary overflow slots on your wands. These spells aren't actually on the wands though, meaning they won't be cast with the other spells. Things might get a bit buggy if you abuse this too much, but it works in a pinch to allow you to buy or carry around a few more spells if need be. This exploit actually abuses the overflow mechanic the game uses when a player with a full inventory attempts to pick up the Sampo. This next one has been known for quite a while, but similarly, there is a method for picking up more than four wands. All you have to do is press your key to pick up a wand at the same exact time as one, two, three, or four. If you time it correctly, you'll see this wand select UI. Then just click one that you want to drop and it'll actually stay attached to you. You won't be able to use a wand without first dropping one, so this is mainly a good way to bring an extra wand into the holy mountain with you for editing. Just make sure you have a clear path to a portal before attempting this. At last, we have what I call the item possession glitch. To pull this off, you'll need to be aiming upwards with a wand equipped. Then, in this example, I'm going to press 5 to switch to my tablet at the same time I press left mouse to throw it, quickly followed by spamming the 5 key a few more times. It takes some practice to get the timing right, but when you do, you'll notice your player sprite with nothing in their hands, but it's as if you're still holding the item. You're then free to constantly throw it without even being close to it as if it's possessed by a ghost or as if it's another form of telekinesis. This will obviously allow you with practice to get a lot of trick kills, but it may have other uses as well. I've tried it with every item and while it works well with the broken wand or evil eye, the Kioskivi or Ukoskivi, the Brimstone or Thunderstone respectively, will instantly crash the game if you attempt this with them. So be careful when experimenting experimenting with this. However, an item that will not crash the game through item possession and that has a pretty interesting function is none other than the poop stone, which normally damages you constantly when held, but when possessed, no longer damages you. Moreover, you retain the ability to shift nearby liquids into poop, or soil in the case of lava. Unfortunately, the damage and vomit effect is also removed from enemies if they're outside of the stone's area of influence. So you can't just perform this trick at the cave entrance and then complete an entire run weaponless and causing your enemies to kill themselves by vomiting to death unfortunately. However, the AoE of the Tanner Kiwi also works and you will not create earthquakes when you kick, making this one of the best items to perform this with. Likewise, the Water Stone also retains the AoE effect, though the Breathless buff is also removed. Anyway guys, let me know down below if you find anything else, any other glitches, bugs, anything interesting. If you solve the Cauldron or the Eyes, of course, let me know. Have fun, thanks for watching, and happy Noite.